Hello and welcome to Surprise Toy Box. It's been a really long time, and that's because I haven't really been going to thrift shops for the last month or so. But I finally was feeling FOMO, so I did some shopping. I went uh, to the thrift stores, I think, three times in the last week or two. Uh, picked up a few things, nothing too amazing. Um, but first, let me show you something I got at Toys R Us. So this is the later Lego Creator set for Easter. This is an Easter chick egg. Um, oh no, I didn't get it at Toys R Us. It was at Walmart because Walmart was like 14 cents cheaper or something like that. Um, yeah, just another poly bag to add to my collection. Um, Lego does have this as a gift with purchase, but um, these are only like $5 in stores um, if you can find them. So I didn't want to do the extra spending, so just got it at uh, Walmart. Next is this Home Alone board game. Um, I believe this was $2.99 at the Salvation Army. Um, I think my sister already has this uh, from a white elephant gift, but um, I looked inside, everything is in pristine condition and all the pieces are there. So decided to take a chance. Um, hopefully this uh, game is fun. For $3, I guess you can't go wrong. Unfortunately, they did stick like tape on it and when I peeled it off, it's like still very sticky. So. I don't know how to get that off. So let me know if you have played this game before. Next is this Sumiko Garashi LED light. Um, this actually is a Toriba prize, I believe. Because um, it is somewhere it says uh, in, made in Japan or something like that. Oh, for sale in Japan only. Um, this is a Halloween themed one for $2.99. So I'll take it out of the box. So it is a very cheap plastic, very light, it takes uh, batteries. Um, I don't really need it, but I couldn't pass up Sumiko Kurashi because it's so cute. So I, I believe when you put the batteries in, this actually is like, it's like clear, so that will project onto your ceiling. And before we get to this bag that I got at Value Village, let's look over to the side with um, see what else I got at Salvation Army. So I picked up a Wii bundle. So this was $29.99 plus tax. Um, you get the Wii console that has Wii Sports, um, some component video cables. I'm not sure what you need these for actually because um, doesn't the Wii console itself already come with cables? Um, also included is Wii Fit. Um, the box is really gross. I actually wiped it down, but it looks like there's like stains on it. If you look at the bottom there, um, I wasn't gonna buy it because um, Wii's already went back down in price now that you know the world has opened up a bit. Um, but thirty dollars with the the board and everything, and like when I looked at it in store, everything was like in pristine condition, like all the manuals and stands and everything were there. Um, so I decided to take a chance. Um, I did test it out. Everything does work. Um, it also came with a extra Wiimote and um, a Wii Play and a Zumba game that was in the console. So here's the Wii Play and Zumba. Um, I just put it in an empty CD case. Um, I wonder if my mom's gonna want to play this because she uh, exercises on the Wii and Wii Fit every day. All right. Lastly, is this bag of junk from Valley Village for two ninety nine. Um, it actually only has one item that I want in here, and can you tell what it is? Here's a look. It's actually this. This is actually a Lego promo. It's an Easter Bunny. So let's rip into this. Um, I believe it is missing a piece, so let's pull this out. It is open. Um, I think this was from last year. You can see there's a Lego chicken and duck here. And so if you open this up, the Easter Bunny, oops, and his egg is here. Oh, I can't even yank it out. There you go. Oops. So, here is the Easter Bunny minifigure. The pants are not printed, but you get tail on the torso on the back. Um, he has this painted egg. And it, he is supposed to come with a paintbrush, uh, but unfortunately, it probably fell out um, or was lost. But for two ninety nine for a promo set, it's not bad because you 
probably have to spend like 30 or 40 dollars just to get this so perfect just in time for Easter all right let's see what other junk we got in here this is astronaut Snoopy um, also a McDonald's toy uh, I don't collect this and unfortunately because of the pandemic you can't trade toys anymore what else there is an ugly doll this is a wedge head bank toy so it looks like it's like a paper box and I don't know what it's supposed to look like I think it like opens up and you can like play it like so like a poly pocket maybe I don't know I'm gonna google it um, and lastly something even older is a Thai beanie baby so this is chili the polar bear so I actually only have one um, beanie baby from McDonald's that I bought way back in the day so when did this come out um, 2000 huh these are like worthless but I do have uh, the one that I bought so let me go grab it so I can show you I have it right here the end the bear it's still in pristine condition this one's like smush like the plastic and stuff worse mine's perfect um, also from 2000 I should just open these one day, huh? This is from the same set? It is! Interesting. Yeah, so that's all. I actually did sell a lot of my Beanie Babies at a yard sale several years ago. Um, I only kept like the super cute ones and like the cat ones. Okay, well that is everything. Um, I'm probably gonna see if I can go thrifting again uh, more frequently, but you know, um, things are, rules are tightening up again, uh, with, you know, the Chima virus, as some people call it. Um, so, we'll see. Uh, let me know what was the best thing I got. Remember to leave a comment, a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!